video, I'm going to show you how we can take all of our 3D objects and put them into one layout. So I've typed out here, just so you can see, you, may know, you might know this already, these are just basic Windows commands. But uh, the copy command, not regular AutoCAD copy, because we're not going to be able to use that command from one drawing to another. We're going to have to use the Control c command for copy. If you want to copy with a base point, this is just a side note if you're ever copying from one drawing to another, if you do Control shift c that will let you select a base point. That way when you get ready to paste it into your drawing, you can paste it in a very specific place. So I'll show you one of, one of the things that we copy. I'll do it that way. Um, you don't need to do the cut command, but if you ever did, it's Control and X for cut, and then paste is Control and V. So these are the different commands that we're going to be using, and I just wanted to put them up here. You may or may not already know those commands, but what we're going to do is we're going to come into our drawing, and it doesn't matter which one you choose. We're going to just pick one of these drawings, and we'll go to the layout. Again, it does not have to be your drawing, but we will copy them all into that model space and then we'll go into the layout and fill all of this out. So just pick one, it does not matter which one. I'm gonna come over here to the bracket, select the object and I'm holding down Control and then C and that copied. When I come over here to this drawing, Control V for paste, notice how I'm just kind of randomly holding it. It picked it up probably at wherever zero comma zero happened to be. So I'll just set it down somewhere in here. On this next one, I'll show you Control Shift C, and now it asks me for a base point. So I can say somewhere specific that I need for a base point. When I come over here and do my Control V, I'm holding it by that base point. So that's a nice little thing to know about. And let's go to the tool holder and let's do a control C here. If you were to do control X, it would cut it. And you really don't need to cut it. I'm going to do a control Z will undo that. Uh, so just select it. Control C is fine. Come over here. We're going to paste this. And really they just need to be arranged in some random, like you know, just so long as we can see everything clearly, that's all we're really worried about. So, um, just make sure nothing is covering each other. And also make sure that they're all done on the 3D layer. We don't want these things to be on layer zero because if it's on layer zero, which was the default layer, when it prints, it's just gonna print as kind of a dark blob. You're not gonna be able to really see much detail in it. So we do wanna make sure it's on the 3D layer. And we'll just go in here to the layout. Now that we're in the layout, Double click inside the viewport to get into model space and you're just going to come in here and just kind of just zoom until it fits. There's no actual scale that we need to set here. I mean everything else we've been saying 1 to 2, that's just, a, we probably could get it to fit 1 to 2 actually if we were to take this object and move it over here. You probably could get those to fit at a one to two. Um, whatever viewport uh, scale you end up getting it set at, if you can find a scale that they fit at, that's great. Um, if not, that's fine too. We're gonna come, I've just locked the viewport and now I've gone into paper space and we're gonna fill out the title block. When you get ready to do the scale, if you set it to a real scale, that's great. You could type one to two or whatever it is here, but you can also just type in NTS will do, and that represents not to scale, just so you know. There's no dimensions we're going to pull off of these 3D objects. They're more visual rep representation. Um, and just for the ease of not having to sit there and produce multiple uh, files or print multiple pages, we're just, we're just bringing them all into one. So we could just call this, you know, 3D project and um, that's it, fill out the title block and you're ready to either print this out or make it into a PDF or make it into a DWF, whatever it is your instructor is wanting you to do.